It's Brainwash with Dr. Tom and Guitar Picks with Kyle Welch. Carlos Montoya, Romanza. Romance is uh, sometimes pronounced Romanza. It's a real famous classical guitar piece. It's not very long, not even super difficult, but it's, it has a very haunting melody to it. It was written uh, during the Romantic period, I believe. And it's, it's, just a, it's almost like a standard in like the repertoire for, for classical guitar. And it's, it's one of the, uh, it's one of my favorite pieces. This is a um, East Asian piece called Tune Ing. Okay, sorry, bad job. Ready to go. Uh, romance. string noise. Mm -hmm. I, I generally don't try to eliminate all of it. Mm -hmm. um, for classical guitar it's accepted to have a small amount mm -hmm. of it. Uh, the rest of it just comes from developing good technique. Mm -hmm. um, but there's really no way around it. I mean it's you can try different techniques when you're recording to equalize it out and things like that but to me it, I say I like it because it gives me a sense of realness. Mm -hmm. You know if I listen to a recording and I hear the string noise and I hear the creaking and you know it's it's just real it's natural it, it, but I've, I've even seen um, in music written out like by Hendrix um, Purple Haze for example the the last note that he hits before they actually go into the Purple Haze you know into the singing part um, there's a note in parentheses underneath the note he's playing and it says unintentional note but they left it in there <laughs> So I guess it just depends on how you want to approach it. But string noise and classical guitar is generally, uh, to a certain degree, accepted. It's Brain Watch with Dr. Tom and Guitar Picks with Kyle Welch. Beethoven, Moonlight, Sonata. Well, Beethoven is, first of all, my favorite uh, classical composer. I mean, he started going deaf, I think, at 28. I can't remember the age that he was completely deaf. You know, and he wrote beautiful music just straight out of his head and it's such a tragedy that he was never able to hear any of it but Moonlight Sonata from a compositional standpoint is unbelievable I mean it's it has the same sort of boom 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 over the you know uh, uh, under the uh, melody of the boom 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 and the chord changes and the and the, uh, the harmonies are get very complex as, as, he, as it kind of evolves and uh, play a little bit of it here
can't play the rest of it. So you have that sort of feel, and, mm-hmm. and, it, and it keeps going. But the harmonies and, and, and things sort of change, and it's very tense sounding, but s- slow at the same time. And it has this, this. I guess you've kind of noticed from a whole list. I'm, I'm a big fan of this sort of more darker, morose. So. <laughs> it's brainwash with Dr. Tom and guitar picks with Kyle Welch. Sting, fragile. Sting is uh, somebody that I've gotten into um, just in the past couple of years. You know, I heard the police and I'll, and listen to Sting, but I was like, ah, it just didn't. You know, I don't want to listen to it. I just, you know, like it's it's slower it's not you know there's not there's a guitar in it but not a, and it's not a whole lot of electric guitar sort of thing but when I heard the song Fragile it has a the intro lick is actually just played on a nylon string guitar but in, in kind of a more uh, not this, I, hate to, I hate to use the word pop rock but in a more rock sense mm-hmm. um, a songwriting sense and um, it, I was very hooked by that and I, so I started listening to more and more of his music and he's another one who who really layers things in and then of course the police you know had great musicianship all the way around Stuart mm-hmm. Copeland and Andy Summers mm-hmm. um, and it also kind of opened me up to the idea of well can you use nylon string guitar as an instrument in a more of a rock setting and of course you can I never really experimented with it but when I looked into it you know there's lots of people that that did it and um, one of the songs that you have of my compositions called Tree Stay there's mm-hmm. nylon string, string guitar uh, through the whole thing mixed with electric guitar so it really opened me up to the idea of using different textures and layers mm-hmm. by simply not changing the instrument but the type of the instrument that you're using going from electric guitar to a, a classical guitar or a steel string acoustic guitar or a slide guitar mm-hmm. or just use a different stomp box for a different distortion you know <laughs> so when you blend them together you know you have multiple layers of things it's brain Launch with dr tom and guitar picks with kyle welch Victor Wooten, you can't hold no groove. Uh, Victor Wooten is, uh, of course, a bass player. He plays for Bella Fleck and Fleck Tones. And uh, we've been talking about listening to other instrumentalists uh, as I kind of evolved. And uh, out of, you know, the whole rock, oh, I play rock, you know, and I just listen to metal guitars and things like that, into the sense that, wow, he's a phenomenal musician. And, you know, he, he did this whole record of just four-string bass guitar solo. That was it. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's the first song on there, and it just opens up with this thing, and it's like, whoa, you know. And he's just got four strings in this whole record, so that kind of turned me on to the idea. Of, well, you know, it doesn't. What you know, can I do uh, by myself? You know, and um, he uses a lot of does a lot of two hand sort of tapping thing, and, and of course the thumping of the bass. So I, I kind of took that same approach to, you know, my guitar, and I'm working actually a couple of pieces currently to try and uh, try to emulate that. One of them being and it's just a little ditty like I said it's not really even finished yet and then I have another one uh, which is a little closer to being done uh, which goes like this mm-hmm. 